Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different compared to our normal Let's Builds. This is going to be a very in-depth tutorial on how to build a medieval tower. And if this video type is well received, I'll go ahead and sprinkle that in with our normal Let's Builds. And because this is a new type of video I'm putting out there, any constructive criticism would be appreciated. Okay, let's get into the build. First thing I do here is I get the spruce log block and arrange it in this pattern. The pattern is a 5x5 five five square with the corners and center blocks missing. And when that's done, you just build up to your desired height. You don't have to do the exact height I'm doing. Do whatever you want. If you want a tall tower, go as tall as you want. If you want shorter, go shorter. Up to you. And once you have finished building up all your logs to the desired height, it's time to move on to the next piece. For this part, I break out these stone slabs, and I place them every other block as we ascend up the tower. This pattern will be used on all the four corners of our tower, but not the center. And then in those gaps in between those stone slabs, I come in with the stone fence block and fill that in. Now it's time to repeat that design on the rest of the corners. And here's a side note for these tutorial videos. If I'm using a cobblestone fence, you don't always have to use a cobblestone fence. You could substitute that for a wooden fence, or you could substitute the spruce logs for oak logs, stuff like that. Once you finish all your corner bits, it's time to move on to one of the faces of the tower. For this part of the build, I'm using stone bricks. I'm using them to make a three wide layer that completely covers up our tree logs. You're going to repeat this design until you get to the top of the tower. And once you finish one side, you're going to go over to the remaining three sides and do it there. And with the stone brick layer complete, it's time to get back out your logs. You're going to build four of them in each of the corners all the way up to the top of the tower. I wanted to get some feedback on the layout of this video. You guys like the inclusion of the traditional time lapse video along with the first person? Or would you just like the first person? And lastly, the scale. Is the time lapse too big? Or is the first person too big? Let me hear your feedback. But let's get back to the build now. Now we're getting back to the center column of our tower. What you'll be doing here is you're going to be knocking out two blocks, skip a block, and then knock out two more so you get a pattern like this. As you can see with my original design, I made the tower a bit too short. If you do encounter this problem, it's just a simple fix of extending the pattern up a bit. Now we're coming back to our center column with the open slots. Half of these slots will be filled in with glass, like on that first one, and the second half will be filled in with stairs. For the stair design, the bottom stair is going to be normal way up, and the top stair is going to be upside down, so you get a nice little gap in the center of the two. And then that one block in between the stair effect and the window effect, we're destroying and we're replacing it with a stone slab. And when that's done, we go ahead and repeat it on the remaining three sides of the tower. Coming back to the windows and the stair step slots, we're adding in stair effects like this to achieve an hourglass effect. So if we're going up this vertically, it's a normal stair block, an upside down one, a stone brick, and you repeat that all the way up the tower. Now this is hard to explain, and it may sound complicated, but if you're just watching what's happening on screen, it's a quite simple effect. Once you finish this side up, you can go ahead and repeat it on the remaining three sides, like before. You're going to be grabbing your stone brick stairs and placing them upside down like this around the perimeter of the top of the tower. we're using the trap door and placing them on the logs on the corners. You're placing them equal with the stone slab that's in the center column. So it's pretty much the layer that's in between the windows or the stair layer, like this. And like I've said before, you'll be repeating this design on all the remaining sides. Be sure not to forget the inside of your logs. You gotta put your trap doors 
on the block that's barely visible, like this. Now you can go ahead and get your stone brick stairs back out. Starting at the corner log, which is one block offset, you're going to be creating a perimeter around with the stairs facing this direction. With the space remaining inside the stone stairs, we're filling in with cobblestone slabs. Now you're going to count two from the corner, get out your cobblestone stairs, destroy that block, and replace it with a cobblestone stair block, like this. And then you're going to do the same thing for the center block as well. Then use your stone brick block and place a layer above our upside down stair layer. And notice how I'm skipping over the cobblestone blocks there. That's because instead of normal stone bricks, we'll be putting a normal cobblestone block there, like that. And then we're placing a stone slab block above all the stone brick blocks, being sure to skip over the cobblestone bricks. And then for the cobblestone bits, instead of putting that stone slab, we're going to put a full cobblestone block. By doing this, we achieve that crenellation effect that you usually see with military buildings such as castles and guard towers. And at this point I realized I missed a layer of trapdoors, so I'm just coming back to the corners and adding those in. Coming back up to the tower, you're going to destroy the cobblestone slabs in each of the corners and replace it with logs that are 5 high. Now it's time for the roof of our tower. Place a spruce block one block above the corner, then I come out one block, and I come out an additional block with stairs, and then I outline the perimeter using these stair blocks. as you get an aerial view, you can see how there's one block in between the base and the stair blocks. Now we get to move on to the next layer of our roof. Coming to the inside of the stairs, I'm placing normal plank blocks because it makes it a lot easier to build stairs on top of them when we're moving up our roof. And just like we did on the first layer, just trace the perimeter with the stair blocks. And I bet you're wondering what the next step is. If you guessed do the exact same thing, well then you're correct. You're going to keep repeating this pattern until you get to the very tip where you can't build anymore and all four sides meet each other. Going back to our crenellations, you're going to destroy the left and right one, the top block part and place a stair block below it. We're then going to use cobblestone fences and build up until you reach the roof. Like that. And then of course repeat the design on all four sides. Now we get to turn our attention to the inside of our tower. For the floor of our tower, we're going to be using cobblestone blocks. Next, it doesn't really matter which corner you pick, but go and get your ladder out, and we're going to build up to the top. And 
because this is the interior, you're going to want to put some lighting down. You could really put it wherever you want. I decided to put it in the blocks in between our windows. Next, go ahead and grab a door. It doesn't really matter which kind, whatever one you want. And go ahead and place it on this open spot right here. And then make sure to go ahead and add a staircase to get up that block. Next, we're going to the corners of our tower and adding in cobblestone stairs one block level above the ground. Underneath our cobblestone stairs, you're going to place a cobblestone block so it reaches the ground. Now we're placing stone brick stairs to the block to the left and to the right of the window. And then coming back and casually adding in light just so our tower isn't completely dark at night time. Coming back to our doorway, we're placing three spruce stair blocks above it. And then we're going through our inventory until we can find our cobblestone fences, and then place them in that gap in between. Moving back onto our roof, we're going to add in our dormer window. Now this can be a little difficult. Start by moving up one block from the base, and then destroy the five center stair blocks. You want the two edge blocks to be corner stair blocks like that, and then all you're going to do is build a pyramid up until the center. Then you move one layer back and repeat the same pattern so the dormer window connects fluidly with the rest of the roof. It wouldn't be much of a window if there was no glass. So be sure to destroy the wood planks behind and replace it with normal glass so you get a window. And once you finish that one window, all you gotta do is repeat it on all the four remaining sides. We're coming back to the corner parts of our roof and replacing the corner stair block with a cobblestone stair block. And that's the roof all set and finished. Now we got one last thing to do. You're going to go to the center of our tower, where the trap doors are on the corner, and then below and above it, you're going to place wood stairs. And the corner of those wood stairs, you're going to place cobblestone stairs. So you get an effect like that, and then repeat it on all four corners. The final block we are placing is going to be the cobblestone fence block right in between those cobblestone stairs on the corners. And like that, we have finished our medieval tower. If this is a video series you would like to see continued, let me know in the comments and drop a like. If not, then I'll stop after this, but there's a lot of other smaller buildings like this that can make pretty detailed tutorials so you guys at home can build it. Now these aren't going to replace our traditional let's builds, we'll still have those in. And the next video is going to be a let's build, I'm not going to say what it is, but it's a pretty nice one. I'll see you guys next time. Joe Bulby out.